for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more. Hello guys, and I'm back with another video. Work in this video will soon be featured in my Etsy shop, and more can currently be found in my shop at itsy.com slash shop slash leeway artisans. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a blob painting. This technique creates a cool 3D effect, and you can make them using a variety of color combinations. For mine, I'm going to be using black, purple, blue, turquoise, green, lime green, red, pink, orange, and yellow, as I'm doing a rainbow theme. I'm using white as my base color, and squeeze bottles are best to use. I'm also mixing my paint with Flood Floetrol. I'm working on a 15 by 30 inch canvas. I'm going to be using Artist Loft Low Acrylic Black Paint for my background. You're also going to need a flat brush to apply your paint. Make sure your canvas is free of dust and debris before applying your paint. Apply as much as needed to get even coverage. Be sure to also paint the sides of your canvas. When your canvas is dry, you can begin the first layer of your blob painting. Once again, I'm using white as this creates contrast, but feel free to use whatever color you want. When creating your blobs, squeeze bottles work best as they form circular shapes. Also, be sure to create a variety of small and large circles. I like the look of my blobs dripping off of the side, so I'm also applying some closer to the edges. I'm also using a blowtorch to get rid of bubbles that form in the circles. Also, feel free to mix more paint as needed. The mixture should be one part paint and about a third flow draw. The consistency should look like this. If it's too thin, add more paint so your blobs will be firm and not too runny. Layer one complete. Yeah. 
just repeat this process for the rest of your painting. To create the rainbow effect, I'm dedicating each section to a different color all the way across. I'm starting with blue as my first color. When applying your paint, squeeze slowly so you don't cover up the previous color you've applied. In this case, I don't want to cover the white paint. Next, I'm using turquoise. Now, green. Next, lime green. Then yellow. Orange. Now pink. Red. And lastly, purple. As you can see, the colors sometimes run, but this also creates a beautiful look of the colors crashing together. If you don't want this, be sure to mix thicker paint and make sure your canvas is properly leveled. Feel free to also wipe off excess dripping paint from the sides. Now for the third layer. When you first apply your colors, it is normal for the layers to be flat. Be sure to also use your torch as you go along to pop any bubbles created. Now for the fourth layer. Keep in mind 
that you can add as many layers as you want. And also feel free to stop. Now the fifth layer. I'm now working on my sixth layer. And lastly, our seventh layer. As you can see, I also added smaller circles of colors to keep the gradual illusion of a rainbow. And we're done! Thanks for watching! Bye! Thanks for watching! And don't forget to like and subscribe for more! Don't forget to check out my website at www.itsy.com backslash shop backslash leeway artisans. Follow me on Instagram at bnwart underscore leeway or on my Twitter at leeway artisans.